Hello and welcome to Tune Insiders. Tune Insiders. Today we are going to show you how to connect the Zoom H4n to your MacBook and how you could set it to a better sound quality as an audio interface. Let us set your audio frequency on your MacBook first. From your main screen, go to the Application folder, then open the Utilities folder. Here you can see many applications, but you just need to select the Audio MIDI setup. Now you can see all the connected audio devices in your MacBook. The setting, which we have to check and adjust, is your built-in output. Let us use the default setting and remember the setting correctly, whether it's on 44.1 kHz or 48 kHz. Let us connect the Zoom device with the USB cable. Remember to connect it properly and here you can see the Zoom device will turn on automatically when you connect it with the computer. It has only two options, storage if you want to connect your SD card and files in it or audio interface. Scroll and choose the audio interface. It will open another menu with two other options, Frequency and Connect. First, choose Frequency. You can see there are only two options, 44.1 and 48 kHz. Choose the same frequency which your computer has and then click Connect. After a while, you will see the level meter screen. If there is no response of sound, remember to choose the input from the mic button to use the integrated microphone. A little advice from us, we always set the max volume at the minus 6 decibel. In that way, you will have the most acceptable sound volume, especially if you are giving an online lesson, which needs a greater volume than a normal speaking level. Just bear with us for another moment and let us go to the computer screen again. Let us continue from the same Audio MIDI Setup Applications window. You can see the Zoom H4n is now properly connected and you have two more options in this window. If you have the same device as ours, it shows H41 with two output channels and H42 with two in channels. Select both of your new devices and make sure they are at the same frequency. In our case, it's on the 24-bit and 44.1 kHz. You might wonder why we have an aggregate device as well. This is another advanced topic and we will cover it in one of our future videos. After you set all the devices, as a bonus feature, we are going to explain to you how to reach the best audio quality on your Zoom meeting application. It will be handy for music lessons, live concerts, or even auditions. Open your Zoom meeting app and log in as usual. Make sure your Zoom meeting app is up to date and you can check it by clicking on your profile picture and select Check for Updates. If it's already updated, go to the setting menu and select the Audio tab. Check if you're already using your Zoom H4n as your microphone device. Uncheck the Automatically Adjust Microphone Volume feature as we would like to have a dynamic range for your music. In the MacBook, usually you couldn't adjust the volume manually, but you can make the adjustment from your input level on your Zoom H4n device. Make sure you set the suppressed background noise at the lowest level 
to avoid the aquarium-like effect, because most software will suppress the higher frequency of your voice. Then click the Advanced menu and it will open another window. Put the echo cancellation on Auto and make sure the Show in Meeting option to enable original sound from microphone is on. Then turn on the Disabled Echo Cancellation, High Fidelity Music Mode and Use Stereo Audio to have the highest quality of your Zoom H4n device. Now press back and check your setting by using the Test Mic button. Testing 1, 2, 3. Well done! You have already set your Zoom H4n as an audio interface to your MacBook. Thank you for watching Tune Insiders. And as usual, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification alarm to support our channel. Bye-bye!